hello everyone welcome or welcome back to my channel um today i'm going to be filming a video of my march favorites i don't have a lot to say to be honest um and there are like a mix up of different things but i still thought that i'd make this video because i really like showing you what i've been enjoying um over the past month I don't have that much makeup because I haven't been wearing that much makeup recently because I've just been drained all the time and I just haven't been wearing makeup every single day. Um, probably like recently I've been wearing makeup like once a week, which yeah, um, it's really rare for me. But um, I still have a few makeup um, favourites and just random favourites that I'm going to show you. So um, yeah, I'm just going to get started with my favourites. I really need to tidy my room, by the way. Um, yeah. But at the minute, I'm surviving in my room, in my messy room. Anyway, the first thing that I've got is a foundation. Now, I'm not a foundation girl, but I've actually tried this foundation on my channel. There's a video. I'll probably leave it down below. Um, but I do have a video of me trying this foundation. This is the Hydra Serum Foundation by Collection. Basically, I don't wear that much foundation all the time because of the fact that I've got dry skin. And it just makes my skin look even more dry and even more worse than what it actually is when I'm wearing foundation, usually. But when I seen that this was like a hydrating serum foundation sort of thing, um let's try it out because i do suffer with severe dry skin so that was a test and this stayed on for around it definitely stayed on throughout me being at work which was about eight and a half hours so at least eight and a half hours wear without like much dry skin showing through and without it flaking or um coming apart and stuff like that this is a really good foundation for dry skin i got mine in extra fair i'm not sure if they've got like a massive variety of um shades but it's definitely worth giving a go if you've got really dry skin i'd definitely recommend it see if you like it stuff like that for ages i was just putting off just buying foundations in general because of the fact that i knew that i just couldn't have it with my skin um but this foundation has been one, the first ever foundation that I've ever actually really liked um, and actually liked having on my face. Do you know what I mean? So yeah, really like this. Then the next makeup product is something that I keep on wearing whenever I'm having like my complete no makeup days, I guess. Um, I literally... I moisturise my face and all that sort of stuff as well, obviously. But if I'm not wearing any makeup at all, I have... I wouldn't say I've got really short eyelashes, but I do like to have something on my eyelashes because I'm always wearing some sort of eyeliner or whatever. So whenever I've got absolutely no makeup on my eyes, I do feel a bit like a alien. So I've been wearing this brown mascara from Seventeen, which I think is boots own brand this is the extreme extension lengthening mascara and yeah this is what the packaging looks like it's literally just a brown mascara here's the wand it's nothing fancy like i wish that i could show you what it actually looks like on the eye but i can't because um i've already got makeup on but this it's just like it adds volume but it also looks really really natural because obviously it's brown like it's just something that i've constantly been reaching for if i know that i'm going to be going out without any makeup on i'll at least put this on and yeah i just really like it like it's something that makes quite a bit of a difference it does make a big difference even if you've got no makeup on i'm gonna do a item of clothing now Please bear in mind the fact that I've um, not washed this and I also work in this jumper as well. So I haven't washed it since being at work, if that makes sense. Like I've worked in it and I haven't washed it since. So um, I have got highlighter covered all over it. Don't even ask. Um, but it's this jumper. 
sweatshirt, jumper, whatever you want to call it. Um, it's an Adidas one. Yeah. It's got a few stains on it. I originally bought this from ASOS quite a while back, actually. This is just such a massive, oversized, amazing, comfy fit. And I just love it. It's just so easy. I just throw it on and that's it. Um, like I say, because it's it's just so cosy and comfy as well. So it's really nice in the weather that we've currently got going on. That's like kind of all weird and stuff. Um, I can throw it on and if I get too warm, then I just throw it off. Um, but it's got all of these like Adidas around the neck and then this little Adidas logo. And then it's suit super super oversized this is a size small and it is massive it's just one of those jumpers that i keep on going for and whatever like i'm not usually into like my sports brand or anything like that i'm not usually one of those girls but this is just such an easy jumper um and i don't know how to describe it like it's just chill you know it's just a chill jumper that i wear whenever and literally whenever and wherever i could wear this like i said i wear it to work i could probably wear it around the house or like if i go out i could probably wear it then um but yeah i just thought i'd mention this because i've been wearing it a lot recently like i've actually sort of got upset whenever it's in the wash because i can't wear it um while it's being washed <laughs> so yeah this adidas jumper oh i didn't mention this little bit of makeup this is a technic um false eyelash glue now to be fair i can't lie i've always wore this particular eyelash glue but it's only just came to my attention to actually like show you <laughs> the glue that i use all the time it's literally they come in a pack of three i get mine from body care usually and they come in a pack of three and it's just literally the Technic um, false eyelash glue. And they come in like three little bottles like this, which I think is really handy because if you have a massive um, tube, then, you know, eyelash glue around like the top can get sticky really easily. So if you've got three little um, tubes of lash glue, um it's less likely to get that sticky by the time you've used it all rather than having like a big one and like just keep on using it even though it's really sticky and stuff if you sort of get what i'm saying with that um in my head i know what i'm talking about but i just can't get the words out properly so yeah the um technic false eyelash glue and then i also have a pair of earrings that i want to show um, just these. I brought these off a shop from Etsy. I think I've got a video up when I brought mystery boxes from Etsy, I think. And these were some of the earrings that came in one of the mystery boxes. So I guess you could try and find them, but I'm sure that there'll be some sort of similar things going around Etsy or wherever. But yeah, I've just loved wearing these earrings. They've got like, they're in a little heart. Oh, they're in a little heart with like a little cross in the middle. Um, and yeah, I've just been wearing them a lot because I like them. So now the only skincare products that I've got to show is this Glow Hub Dehydration Hero Facial Serum. Um, we all know why I need hydration serum and skincare products because my face is so, so dry. Like I've already mentioned in this video, literally. But um, I've been wearing this. It's I wash my face and then I put this on and then I'll put my moisturiser over the top of this and then I'll start doing my makeup. So I use this before my makeup, but be before my moisturiser as well. So it's like, yeah, you can sort of get what I'm saying. But this has made such a big difference to like my makeup and how well it sits on my face and how long it stays on my face for and stuff like that. And it also makes a massive difference to how hydrated my skin feels even after hours of like having this on um so yeah i've really been enjoying this for like um my morning routine i guess i mean i do work nights but technically it's my morning routine because it's when i've woken up and it's just before i do my makeup 
and I just really like it. I mean, they've got, I believe they've got a few different, like, um, serums for, like, different skin types and stuff like that for, like, um, maybe oily skin or something, I don't know. But um, as someone who has dry skin, definitely the Hydration Hero is the serum that you need. And, yeah, I really like it, so... The next thing is actually a candle, and I'm not sure if you're even going to be able to buy this anymore. I bulk buy candles during Halloween because I love my pumpkin scent. Um, pumpkin scent is like actually the only scent that I really go for, but I just love anything to do with Halloween and anything that reminds me of Halloween. I'll bulk buy candles at Halloween and then throughout the year I can burn them and just remember Halloween, even though it's like literally, what, April now? But <laughs> this is a candle that I've been using quite a bit. It's called Sorted Pumpkin. This is from TK Maxx. It was literally £9 for a massive um, thing like this. It is 15 ounces or 425 grams. And DW Home. I think that that's what the brand's called. But literally it's so so nice it is a really strong scent so i do only have it on for a bit and then i blow it out because it's just a really strong scent salted pumpkin you can probably tell that that's going to be a really strong scent but it's gorgeous it's a gorgeous smell and it just really reminds me of halloween and i just really want um autumn to come back and stuff like that because it just reminds me of autumn we're on to the last thing already i'm so sorry that this is a really short favorites video but i wanted i wanted to make it i still wanted to make it you know so i've actually got a game for my last favorites of march i play playstation i can't even get my words out and recently i've been literally addicted to playing remnant i know that it's like not a new game or anything like that the amount of new games that I've purchased but I still don't want to like try out or start, it's actually terrible to be honest. Um, I just need to stop buying games and play all the ones that I've already got but I don't do I. But recently I've been playing a lot of Remnant. I don't know what else to say about it. I find it really difficult to become literally addicted to a game. now. I'm not saying that I'm not addicted to games, like there are certain games that I'm 100% addicted to, but there's some games where I'll play maybe like once or twice and then I'll never play it again. But this one, I've literally been thinking about this all week, waiting for the weekend to come so I've got the weekend off work and I can just play this all weekend. Literally that's all I've been thinking about all week and like that's never really happened to me before. Um... There has been times at work where I've been like, oh, I'd rather be at home playing this game or that game or whatever. But it, I've never been, like, so excited and pumped for the weekend just so I can play on this. Um, so, yeah, I... Yeah, I would, I would definitely recommend this if you play PlayStation and stuff like that. Like I say, it's a pretty old game. I mean, there's probably going to be quite a few people who have already played this and whatever. Um, but if not, then definitely give it a go because, yeah, I'm really enjoying it. So that is everything, actually. <laughs> I am sorry about how little things that I've got this month. Like I say, I haven't worn that much makeup. I haven't really bought that much things. And um, I've literally just been living on this as well. Like That's the reason why. So, yeah, I'm sorry that I haven't got too much to show you, but I hope you liked the video anyway, and if you did, then please give me a thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel if you would like to, and I'll see you in my next video.